Um, good morning. I'm sorry, y'all. Good afternoon. You know, as soon as I get started, um, I got a few puppies left, and they get going. And the loudest one is here. He makes the most noise as soon as I get started. But I want y'all to bear with me as I read this story. And it was taken from the Daily Mail. And I'm going to tell you, I don't believe this story. And it's it's a lie. Um, not that he the person didn't do this stuff. Oh, I definitely believe that. But this is some of the stuff that they blame on us. And we get um, charged for. Or we have uh, just the face of crime. Not white collar crime. But the low life type of crime that uh, that would make you become the face of it. When you got devils in high places just doing egregious detrimental crime. Okay, listen to this. A teenage Kroger employee stole nearly a million dollars from the store. Georgia man is accused of cashing in fake receipts and buying more and buying guns and cars with the money. Okay. Trey Brown, 19, is accused of pocketing $9. $180,000 by returning fictitious items that he is alleged to have made more than 40 fake transactions in the space of two weeks. <laughs> Investigators claim that he used the money to buy two cars, one of which he crashed. Okay. A teenager got a job at Kroger and stole nearly one million in the space of two weeks before using it to buy clothes, guns, and cars. Trey Brown is accused of pocketing around nine hundred thousand dollars, you might as well say a million dollars, by pretending to cash in return items which investigators claim he never existed. I hope you got some money, honey, because you're gonna need a lawyer. Because these devils are now trying to railroad you to th us into thinking that you could possibly you could have possibly in two weeks done that much damage to this insured store. Oh, God. Kroger, I just want to see it. You know, I'm not saying, you know, and I, I'm saying it's highly, highly unlikely. Now, I wasn't there, but it's highly unlikely. So I would definitely have to see proof. And I want to know that this is not white supremacy again in action, as it always seems to rear its ugly head. Um, Kroger employees noticed that the alleged scam in Brown was arrested after cash crash in one of the two vehicles which authorities say he bought with the money. Detectives in Gwinnett County, shout out to Gwinnett County, Georgia, Gwinnett County, um, claimed that Brown made more than 40 fake transactions after he was hired at the grocery store in December. The returns range in price from $75 um, to more than $87,000. And the money was transferred to several credit cards, police say. Police believe he started with the smaller transactions and became more ambitious as he continued to get away with it. So, you don't think that the same thing applies to white supremacy? That if you let somebody get away with it, that they will keep doing it over and over. Oh, you guys are just such contradiction. You gaslight us so much. I'm just so sick of the gaslighting because this is a country that is crazy. It's narcissistic. It breeds uh, people with personality disorders because of the inability to deal with the truth. So you got to sit here and deal with these these operational entities that just gaslight you, that lie to you, that want you, that shit all over you and want you to believe that it's raining. <laughs> this person who was stealing decided to go real big. The employee was essentially creating fake items, taking those items and returning them to credit card he had and just making up 
prices for those items. It seemed like this is a rare case where things snuck through the cracks and the paper person was able to get away with a large amount of money in a short period of time. Yeah, show it to me because he was damn good. And I will apologize if you prove that to me. I'm not that way. Brown is said to have splashed the money on clothes, guns, shoes, and two vehicles, one was, which was totaled before his arrest. A large sum of money was returned after Brown was arrested, the department said, without specifying how much. Brown is charged with a theft by taking, um, which lawyers is, say is likely to be deemed a felony under Georgia law. If more than $500 is at stake. Oh, well, hell, a million? If found guilty, he could face prison sentence between 1 and 10 years. He is said to have worked at this store for only two weeks. Incredible. Incredible. Tell me what y'all think about this. Uh, because uh, to me it seems mighty freaking crazy. What y'all think? Leave your comments below. All right, and I'll see you in the next one.